Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Have you done this drums? before? You're a real pro. Thanks. <laughs> All I do is click now, a button and drag. <laughs> time to put the key into the wax. Oh. Okay. Let's give All it a few seconds it so the mold really takes form. Okay, I think you can remove it. Oh, well, that's dangerous. we're almost there. Just pour the cup of plaster into the mold. All right, now we wait for it to dry. How long That's do you think dangerous. it's gonna take? I don't know. I guess we'll keep poking it every now and then. I bet you didn't think you'd be making a plaster key today, huh? <laughs> Indeed, but I like it. It's rare that this job allows me to use my creative side. Your creative now side? We know how to well, make... granted, this key yeah, won't end up in the museum, out. but I enjoy the occasional artistic endeavor. Like drawing? Oh, God, no. I once oh. drew a dress that everyone mistook for a birthday hat. <laughs> I never drew again after that. Oh. What about you? Haven't I seen you drawing in that journal of yours? Yeah, I doodle a little. Hey, you should show me one day. I'd love to see your art. I wouldn't call it art. Let's be humble. Oh, I'm sure you're underestimating yourself. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not. <laughs> All right, then. I won't insist. What do you like to draw, anyway? It's kind of silly, but I've started working on this little comic in which I imagine my life as a celebrity. A celebrity? Yeah. yeah. She's I've always found the lives of famous people so fascinating, you know? And I kind of envy them sometimes. All the drama, the excitement. Oh, yeah, okay. because we're really lacking in drama and excitement today. <laughs> well, today's the exception. I'm sure there's something else in your life that excites you. Well, I do like sailing. Excuse me? You sail? On a boat? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I used to, with my grandpa. But when he died, we had to sell the boat to pay off his debts. Oh, that's too bad. I would have loved to go with you. Oh, that would yeah, have been really great. We already got him. I really miss it. I miss him too. Andrew. Even though he was a bit eccentric. Andrew. More eccentric than me? Oh, <laughs> a lot more. I'm sure I would have loved him then. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. I think it's dry. I can't believe it worked. No, I could real. not have done this without you. Yeah, probably not. Yeah. <laughs> well, I should get back upstairs before Bernard notices my absence. If he hasn't already. He already fired two know people. how it goes with the key. Oh, and uh, be careful while turning it, okay? You wouldn't want it to break inside the lock. Yeah. Oh, I'll well, we're gonna break it inside the lock. Thank you for everything. We gotta be no careful. Problem. I feel like they're gonna make that an option. We got our key! Period. Let's get it. Bro, this game is literally so much fun. This is the game my mom would probably really like to play because she likes these type of games. I'm not closing that laundry room. I don't care if they know I was in there. These shots are making me feel like somebody's watching me. You know? This is such a movie. I feel like I'm in a movie. Like, guys, I'm in a movie. <laughs> All right. Gotta hurry up. We don't gotta 
got time. We don't got time. What if the sun was here? I would cry. No, he's not. Okay. Be careful, yeah. Sophie. You don't want this key to break. Correspondence between the two. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Her alliterative name the will street. surely take you back. These two sure love their riddles. I don't know what that means. I hope you get letters. Try to rest today. I will bring you hot soup after class. Huh. Marcella invited you to the movies. Let, Let me, me guess. guess. You said yes. Yeah, they're having an affair. Oh, this is the key to break it. I can barely listen to the middle section today. I can't wait for tonight. We gotta break that. Can we take that? I wanna break that code. They're having an affair. Dear Anne, I'm sorry to be so long to answer. Dear Slim. <laughs> um, let me see. That riddle is a toughie. Maybe I need a fresh pair of eyes on it. Yep. Um, let's see what we have. Oh, so I'm like. Okay. All I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. So she already decoded it. All I do is look at your lips and imagine kissing you. Yo, Riz? That's crazy. Interesting. I don't know what that's for, but that's very interesting. Um, uh, let's get rid of all these. Head chef. Yeah, we don't need to know all that about Bobby. He's irrelevant right now. No shame in asking for help, Sophie. Two heads are better than one, especially when dealing with riddles. Uh, can we take the keys out, y'all? Wow, that's bro. All right, I'm gonna ask Andrew. I feel like Andrew will be good at this because he reads books. Andrew. Oh, let me call Beth first. I want to talk to Andrew though. Um, mm, I should wait till I have more to report before calling. So we're, we're finding Andrew then, because Andrew, where are you, honey? I got a riddle. I need you to bag. Yeah. Do it. Oh, I guess we can. I guess we have the caller from that room, which was 507. I don't know why I left, but. Yeah, we have to do it in here. Bro, look at all these notes. Oh, I don't know if that was another episode, but I have this freaking piece of paper full of. Clearing the hotel reception though. desk. Beth speaking. Hey, hey girl! Beth. Got a minute? Sure, what's up? I opened the chest in room 507. You did? Damn, I have to admit I didn't really believe in our little plaster key, but way to go. Yeah, <laughs> I'm kind of surprised as well. Thank you. It's quite sturdy. So Take it out, please. Spill it. What's in the chest? A riddle. 
A riddle? I think it was written by Mrs. Beaumont for Mrs. Cruz. And I think the answer will give me the combination for a case I found in room 509. I yes. could use your help with it, though. Oh, God, I hate riddles. <sighs> well, let's hear it. Which part is causing you trouble? Uh, her that thing, alliterative um, name. Her alliterative name will surely, will surely take, you, take back. you back. Alliterative what now? Andrew, you're a nerd. Yep, what? I told you. Hey, just because I read books doesn't mean I know everything. But uh, you know riddles, though. Okay, okay. It's a series of words so that start, start with the same, with the same sound, same sound or, letters. or letters. Thank you, darling. A did you get that bean? Name. Yeah, okay. I did. But that could mean a lot of things. I'm not sure where to look. Yeah, me neither. Tell her to look for a name and surname that both start with the same letter. Maybe it's someone famous, like a writer or a singer. Huh. You got that? Yes. No. Thank him for me. Will do. So, I'll hold to do. Um, unlike my favorite Here's another bar. one. Unlike my favorite bar, this one this was one black. black. Do you know what this could mean? Hmm. Bar. You said Mrs. Beaumont wrote the riddle, right? Yeah, but I have no idea what her favorite bar is. I think I do. Really? How? Uh, that's a story for another time. But if I had to bet, I'd the put my guy. money on the white cat. The white Period. cat. Thanks. I think I, I get it. I think I get it. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Anything else I can help you with? No, nope. that's all. Thank you. Uh, all right. It. I'm just glad this I could riddle, be of some help. Call me after you've opened that case. You I know I will. <laughs> Look at us, we're little detectives, guys. Okay. So, I need to find something related to a black cat and a person whose first and last names start with the same letter. And then Lena, I noticed yours is pretty worn down, so I decided to buy you a new one. I hope you like it. And since you enjoyed it so much, there's a little puzzle. So forgot the combination. Two five little words are the key. Both are related to our history. So this is this one was black. Unlike my favorite bar, this one was black. Should this be cat? Her alliterate name will surely take you back. Um from the first one, take the first two. From the last one, take the last two. Okay. The postman always rings twice. This all is playing at Lowe's Theater tonight. Lowe's Theater. Okay. Um, who's these people again? I think it's Cruz or Marcella, something like that. And I can't believe person I am. Dear Anne. I just heard Doris Day on the radio. Doris Day. And it made me think of you. I love how much you love Sentimental Journey. I think it's Doris Day, because that's alliterative. Um, the black cat. So I'm guessing there's a black cat with a name. Hmm. Sometimes I'm scared that all this time with you was nothing but a dream. Oh, I love you. I appreciate sure two women. Okay. I'm sorry it took me so long to answer your last letter. It hasn't been six months. On to his passe, see bites. My parents are glad I'm done with my studies. They always thought it was a strange idea for me to go to university. These past few months, I had a lot of time to reflect on relationships. They knew each other in college. Remember that smudge note from college? I think it's from her. Our love is forbidden. You always have a special place in my heart. You know, you feel like a teenager. Remember me? Yeah. They liked each other since freaking college, bro. This one was black. Unlike my favorite bar. The white cat. W H I T E. It's gotta be white. I don't know. 
Doris Day. So I think it's Doris. So I S. Mm. I don't like my favorite bar. Let's just say they suck at trying to hide their affair. Mrs. Cart notes, 1824. Okay, Ellipse. Uh. <laughs> Ain't no way she had a chain listed to her. Here it is. I was waiting for my cat when I heard the sound of leaves blowing in the wind like a melody to my ear in this summer day where I met you. The winds and the leaves of day made the tree whistle a melody that came to me. I remember every part of this day, for it was the day we met. The winds and the leaves have made a sound that sounded like, a sound like what? A sound that sounded like, really, Anne? Hmm. I was looking for my cat when I heard the sound of leaves. What is she trying to write? Let's see. Oh, the cat. Greater. Boom. Freaking A, man. Oh, man. All right, so we found the cat. Obviously, Greater. And then Doris is IS. So let's go. Oh, let's close that. Let's close that. Let's run. So I think it's Gris. G R I S. Because they're both five letters. Yeah. I have to make sure. I was like, it's great at four letters. No, it's five. I was just about to leave the door open, but you cannot. You can't be making small mistakes like that, bro. You can't get caught. I thought someone was in here. I swore I closed this door, but you know, whatever. So let's see. G R. Is that a R? No, it's not. G R I S. What we got? I've been trying to open this thing for episodes, episodes, episodes. That novelist, Bridget Boswell, is actually you, Marcella? She's an author? After all this, turns out you're a fan of Bridget? Of Marcella? That's a lot sweeter than I expected. Whoa. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Oh, D. I'm glad you were able to open up to Marcella like this and advance on my salary. So Marcella hired you. But what for? Interesting. I finally saw this freaking letter. Oh, Lindsay's a man. Yeah, I guess it was presumptuous of me to think otherwise. We're gonna have to read her summary on this because I don't know what's going on. There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't think I've looked at everything yet. Oh, Anne. Murder might be a bit much, but you deserve some kind of justice. Yeah, because her husband over here putting hands on me. Yeah, you crazy. Oh, look. So the symbols I've been deciphering, you invented them back in the day to keep your love secret. That feels really special. Wow. I do that's like a, a happy ending. I just hope that's where your story is headed. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so you came to Montreal under the pretense of celebrating your wedding anniversary. But all along, you meant to reunite with Anne. Y'all, if y'all have not watched the other parts, go watch it because this is mind blowing. Like, all this information we're getting, close so, it. Let me get this straight. Thank you. Mrs. Beaumont and Mrs. Cruz are some kind of star crossed lovers? Seems like it, yeah. But I'm not sure whether they chose to meet here just to reconnect for a few days, or if there's something more to it. Well, I may be able to help with that. Really? How? Oh, some mail arrived earlier for Mrs. Beaumont. Yeah. <sighs> <sighs> I hmm. wonder what's inside. I wonder what's in it. We could open it. I mean, that's kinda illegal. Oh, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Well, too late. I've always known I would end up in prison one day. <laughs> she just ripped it open! <laughs> so? Oh, Lord, honey. It's three train tickets. And, uh, oh, there's a tourism pamphlet for California. California. Mm. Well, it makes sense. It's much more progressive there than it is here. So, Anna and Marcella want to go there to live their love freely. Anna and Marcella, huh? You three are best pals now? <laughs> well, <laughs> after reading so much of their correspondence, I kind of feel like I know them, you know? Yeah. But what about Mr. Morgan, though? I mean, Paul. How does he. Oh, the stalker this? guy. Um, Marcella. Now, why would Marcella hire him? He was a fan of Marcella. Oh, yeah, because Marcella's an author. Turns out he's a big fan of Marcella. Is she a celebrity or something? More or less. She writes pulp fiction under a pseudonym. I think That's her books why. gave Paul a chance to get out of his own head while he was staying in a psychiatric hospital. Wow. Oh, I see. He's still kind of a creep, though. Couldn't he have stuck to fan mail? Stalking her like that. That's going too far. Yeah. And why did he have those pictures of you anyway? Oh, I me? guess we'll never know for sure, but I don't think it was ever about me. It's always been about Anne and Marcella. Exactly. Well, it feels a tad anticlimactic, but who needs drama, right? Mm, At least it made our day pretty interesting. <laughs> it sure did. You know, after more to today... I think I get why you're so interested in the lives our guests lead. I try to forget they exist as soon as I'm done interacting with them. But once in a while, it's nice to remember that, well, even the most put together person could be an absolute mess on the other side of the door. None of us are perfect. You're right. Everyone likes to put on a show, but none of us are actually perfect. Yeah. It's a comforting thought. I knew you'd get it, Bean. Come see me when your shift ends, all right? We could leave together if you want. Sure. If we're able to. With all that snow, I'm thinking maybe we'll have no choice but to spend the night here. Ooh, this game probably has so many parts, bro. We could set up a pillow <laughs> fort on the mezzanine. A pillow fort? We do work in a hotel, you know. There are actual beds here. I know, pillow fort sounds isn't better. my way so much more fun? Yes, well, I'd rather do pillow we forts. could take a page out of Michael's book and decorate it, and then spend the night throwing stuff at Bernard whenever he comes through the lobby. Oh, now you're talking. Oh, <laughs> I feel like they did that to help us get into investigating, because when we start investigating I just have for to real... finish my tasks for the day, and then I can leave. Wow. Yeah, we're about to get ready for murder type junk. That's what's about to happen. That ringing. Sounds like the elevator doors are jammed. The freak? <gasps> Do y'all see that? Oh! And this is when the game really starts. This is when the game starts. Oh. Oh my. 